Hi, I'm David Sickles of Fleet Equipment. Welcome to FE on the Road. Fleet managers, how many times have you been told how important it is to keep your truck's tires properly inflated? It's because tires are one of the most expensive components of the truck, especially when you're investing in more expensive, fuel-efficient, rolling-resistant tires. If you aren't maintaining the optimum inflation pressure for those tires, you're canceling out that extra money you could have been pocketing. Given how important an issue this is, fleet managers depend on sophisticated technology to accurately monitor inflation for every tire on the truck. Today, there are two main types of digital tire monitoring systems in the marketplace. Tire pressure monitoring systems, known as TPMS, and automatic tire inflation systems, known as ATIS. TPMS systems monitor tire inflation, alerting drivers if a tire's PSI becomes too low or high. ATIS takes it one step further, automatically inflating the tire for the driver when necessary. Deciding on one system over another isn't as straightforward as you might think. Both have their own set of pros and cons, to the point that some fleets even opt to use both systems at the same time. TPMS has really come a long way since it started to become a standard feature on vehicles in the early 2000s. Not only will many of today's systems warn the driver that one or more tires are under or overinflated, but it can send that tire pressure data as well as other information like temperature data to the fleet manager in a single web portal where they can monitor what's going on with their entire fleet. However, TPMS won't float an underinflated tire for you like ATIS will. Because TPMS has been on the market for so long, there are tons of aftermarket options to choose from. Some come with dash-mounted monitors, and some will integrate nicely with your telematic system of choice. If you're shopping for a single unit, expect to see prices kind of all over the spectrum. Aftermarket units can sell for anywhere from between $125 per unit to several hundred dollars a pop. ATIS is convenient and can save time by automatically reacting to a low tire pressure situation. ATIS is designed to give the driver the opportunity to get the vehicle to a safe place before stopping and performing maintenance on that tire. One of the cons of the ATIS system is that depending on the size of the leak in the tire, it might not be able to keep up with the volume of air the tire needs to be properly inflated. In a worst case scenario, this can actually worsen the damage the tire suffers, as well as create a more dangerous situation for drivers trying to correct the issue in the field. Also, ATIS options on the market aren't quite as plentiful as TPMS options are and are a bit more difficult to install, so be prepared to pay a higher price. The great thing is that these systems complement each other very well, as each can essentially act as a safeguard against the cons of the other. But regardless of whether you opt to use one or both of these systems, if you want to get the most out of it, be sure your drivers are aware of them and are trained on how to react when a sensor indicates something has gone wrong. For more trucking equipment content, head to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.